Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Maida and you're watching Maida Pours. For today's pour, um, it's sort of an experiment. Um, the idea is a, well, the yeah, it, I wouldn't say the idea is an experiment. It's a, the idea is a pearl pour um, with the extreme sheen metallic here that I have in garnet. So that's this color right here. Um, so I've tried to do pearl pours before with a very moderate success. And I feel like the ones I see on YouTube, um, for example, by Julie on Pour Your Heart Out, one thing that I've noticed is everyone's using Australian Floetrol. Well, I'm in America and I have American Floetrol. I've got this mini wax pre-stain right here and I put a few drops of that into my Floetrol. Um, for every two ounces of Floetrol, I put in about three drops of the pre-stain. Is that enough? Is that too much? I don't know. I've never used it before, so I decided to start with three drops for every two ounces and we'll see how that goes. Um, and I did mix it in the Floetrol flow flow trawl directly and mixed it up and then added the paint. So um, all of these are American Floetrol, but that Floetrol has a few drops of the mini wax pre-stain in it. So we have the Deoxazine Purple, the Prism Violet, and the Fluorescent Blue, all Liquitex. And then again, the Extreme Sheen Garnet for the pearl cells. So I have no idea how well this is gonna work. <laughs> I am going to do it like a straight pour, not the pearl mixture, I'll set that to the side, but I am gonna just put the um, Liquitex Basics, pour them into uh, this measuring cup, and I'm gonna go with the Deoxazine Purple first get it, as much of it out as I can. There we go. And then I'm going to put in the fluorescent blue. And I'm going to pour it from up high because I do want to see if I can get some reactions inside there, inside my container. And then I'm going to pour in the prism violet and I'm going to try to pour it sort of into the blue. I don't know if I succeeded, but that was sort of my idea there. All right, so that is all ready. And I'm gonna set this over here and we're gonna get, <laughs> it's pretty in that, it's pretty in there. Can you see in there? I don't know. I have no idea, I'm just using my light, so I don't know if it's um, picking up that well in there. So I'm gonna lay down the canvas here and we're gonna get started. I do have my torch to pop any bubbles. Got my tweezers to pick up any anything, lint, whatever. So I'm gonna start with my garnet, this extreme sheen, and I'm gonna pour it right here in the middle of the canvas. And this is like my pillow here. And I did mix this thicker than my other paints by just, you know, a smidge. I should have shown you the consistency. I'm realizing that now. My apologies. Um, it created a very slight mound in the cup. Very, um, well, this paint created almost no mound at all. So um, this paint, I mixed one part Floetrol to um, one part deco art and just like the smallest amount of water. I added a lot more water to the Liquitex. Made a lot of bubbles in there because that poured it up. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a straight pour right here on the cushion. And I'm gonna come up from a little bit high. And pour it all the way out. And when I get towards the end of the cup, I do bring it down low because I like to catch it. Oop, little drip, that's okay. I like to catch it in the middle. It creates a little bit of a design, but um, yeah. And you can play with that as you like. Some people create little like 
circles, or some people stay pouring from up high the whole time. This is gonna get stretched out in the center there. So the idea, oh, lots of bubbles are coming up. Lots of bubbles are pretty normal for the kind of pour, the way I poured that paint in. You're gonna get a lot of bubbles when you pour your paint like that because you're pouring from up high and you're kind of asking for it to froth and mix inside of the cup. So I like the reactions I get when I pour paint like that, but, but you are gonna get a lot of bubbles, so it's a trade-off. So I'm gonna go ahead. I do wanna, the idea is to stretch this out quite a bit. And I seem to have, so I got over that corner. We're gonna come down to that corner and bring it back to center. Oh, I should have walked that a little bit. It's okay. All right. And last corner down here. So hopefully, after I finish stretching this out, I'm gonna torch a little bit more and hopefully some of the garnet cells start to pop up. So. Okay. I think I'm starting to see them. It is gonna probably blend a bit with uh, the purples I use, so we'll see. We'll see what happens here. I definitely see them coming up from that side. I'm gonna stretch over here a little bit more. Okay, well, they're definitely coming from over there. Okay, let's see where, let's see what's happening here. Take a look, do some torching and see what develops. So I decided to go and uh, fast forward through this part because half of the fun of any pearl, um, pearl paint pour, in my opinion, is watching the pearls sort of appear, <laughs> which is best accomplished with a fast forwarded uh, frame here. So I feel like I didn't fully explain uh, exactly what I was going for very well in the beginning of this video, partly because I really didn't expect it to work and also because it was Friday night and I was tired and just had to do this pour, even though I was exhausted. Um, so I did add the wood stain to the Floetrol in an attempt to kind of create my own version of Australian Floetrol. Um, this was my first time trying it and I would say that it was a successful experiment. <laughs> Um, I'm definitely going to do this again. So we're just about done. I'm just scraping the sides of the painting here and then um, we'll rejoin me from last night. <laughs> Thanks so much. Wowzers. Okay. So this came out so much better than I ever imagined it would. <laughs> I'm gonna say my experiment was what experiment was a success. Um, the mini wax pre stain definitely made a difference, at least for me. If you're able to get um, pearl pores to work uh, without anything other than Floetrol and water, awesome. I'm that's amazing. I've never been able to do it so. I tried this and I'm like, I'm literally blown away. I'm gonna be honest, I used this garnet color. Not that it's not pretty, it's beautiful, but it's not my favorite. Um, I don't know, I used it because I didn't wanna waste like copper or my 24 karat gold if it wasn't gonna work and it was just gonna be buried by all the other colors. I'm like, I don't wanna waste it. I just, I just wanna see if this idea of mine works and well, I did not waste it. It worked and I'm definitely gonna do this again uh, with different colors um, because yeah. <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much for watching. Um, I am very, very happy with this 
and I hope you enjoyed watching it. I am going to go ahead and bring you down for a close-up, um, but go ahead and hit that like button because it really does help new YouTubers out, and if you enjoyed watching this video and want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing because uh, acrylic paint pouring is what I do here. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Okay. So the lighting's not that great. I really should do this in the morning with natural light. Um, I'm just using the little spotlight on my camera phone um, because the glare is just too much with the uh, lights I film with when I get up close. Um, but this definitely, definitely, like just, wow, it worked. I can't believe it. <laughs> I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled that it worked. Um, thank you so much for watching. They're gorgeous. I love this center part where um, the fluorescent blue kind of like shines through and it kind of just seems to glow behind them. I like that. That's cool. So I got like this really cool 3D effect going on right there. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. I said that like three times, so sorry about that, but I mean it. I really do appreciate you watching. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.